If you or someone you know are affected by suicide, these organisations can offer some help. Why do you feel you need life coaching? Wake up! Tell me what is going well. Okay, uh, my driving lesson. So, yeah. I don't suppose you know where a coffee shop is. I'm a mess. I'm packed in mess. Please. I'm the mess that mess makes. I'm a hero. We have a lot of work to do. Ta da! I'm the sleeping princess. Get out. Oh, you beauty. In you go. Well, they're here. Hey! Oh, hey. Oh, <laughs> is it done yet? <laughs> Nearly. Hey, Annie. There you go. I'm hungry. Is it done yet? A wash, chop, a toss. They're starving. Is it done yet? Oh, looking good. Oh, better check. It's got to be cooked to 75 degrees Celsius. Is it done or what? Oh, I think I'm having a hot flush. It's probably just a panic attack. What's wrong with your face? Are you farting? You look creepy. I think I slept with someone else or... Did you? Room for one more? You can't tell him. No, you're drinking. I'm fine. Is that true? Well, get ready to be excited. Whoa. It's gonna be all right. Well, that's great, honey. I know. I didn't have to say anything special to get into your knickers. I just had to say hello or remove your knickers. <laughs> hello, Nina Mairata with the top stories from ABC News. The final sitting week of the 2017 parliamentary year is shaping up to be an action-packed affair. The same-sex marriage bill, the dual citizenship deadline and the government's pursuit of Sam Dastyaria all on the agenda. The Prime Minister will begin the week in a confident mood following Barnaby Joyce's emphatic by-election victory. U.S. President Donald Trump's national security adviser says the U.S. and its allies are in a race to address the threat from North Korea before the reclusive state achieves its nuclear ambitions. H.R. McMaster was speaking at a defense forum in California where he warned that the potential for war with North Korea was increasing every day. A man is in hospital with a broken jaw and bleeding on the brain after a farewell party got out of control in Perth South. Gate crashes armed themselves with star pickets and caused extensive property damage before police arrived. And in cricket, England will resume at 1 for 29 on day 3 of the second test against Australia at the Adelaide Oval. The Australians declared their first innings at 8 for 442 with Sean Marsh top scoring with an unbeaten 126. Those are the latest headlines from ABC News. ABC Comedy resumes at 7.30. For continuous news coverage, go to ABC News.